Dude, it sold that bad? This game was $60 back in, like, MLB March. The Show 19 will be free for PlayStation Plus members starting in October. But wait, today we can also share that The Last of Us Remastered is also coming to PlayStation Plus members starting in October, alongside MLB The Show 19. Wait, so I could have the waited 33 months but before, before I... let you go, let's take a look at another upcoming PS4 game from PlayStation's Worldwide Studios. Mm -hmm. Scale of 1 to 10. How would you rate our kiss from last night? Look who decided to join us. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes. Mark your logbooks. You run into anything you can't handle. Ellie! Does she really need the gas mask? <laughs> you come back. Another lodge. Get off me! Please stop! No! So the obvious being that they killed her in front of her. You have no idea what you're walking into. What are you doing? You don't know how large that group is. How armed. I don't care. That looks like the same area. You can't stop this. That's the second time she's done that. First. We know you've been anxiously awaiting any news on this hugely anticipated title. Thanks to Naughty Dog for giving us this all new look at The Last of Us Part 2. And we've even got a release date. Mark your calendars for February 21st, 2020. Okay, everyone, that's a wrap on another episode of State of Play. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon, and keep the feedback and suggestions coming. Until next time. Oh man. Claus Jar, thank you for 10 gifted subs. Oh man. That was so cool. Joel looked a little bit like. Oh, I can I can turn this back on. That guy from uh Machief, thank you for twenty eight months and Skillman for three months. Joel looked a little bit like the protagonist from Red Dead Two. I didn't look I didn't like I didn't play enough of that game to remember. Not Marston, the other guy. I don't remember his name. Arthur Morgan, that's right.
He looked a little bit like Arthur Morgan. I think that really has to do with how they made the game, you know? When they made Last of Us, they didn't have to worry about, like, their facial expression and everything. They had to, um... For this game, they mo capped their face. So the expressions and emotions that they showed while they were filming the scene actually show up. So it's logical that the characters are going to look a little different. Tommy looked good. All right, let's wait. Let's put it up. Thank you guys for the bits and everything. All right, we're just going to wait a little bit. <laughs> I used to do that. We're just going to wait a little bit. Oh, man. It'll be up in a sec. Oh, wait. There it is. Sorry, I thought these were live channels. Nope. There we go. Scale of 1 to 10. How would you rate our kiss from last night? I would say that means this takes place the day after the demo, but they could be kissing a lot. Who knows? This right here gives me like a Tomb Raider vibe, you know, where you have like a home base or something. Or like, it had like a mix of Tomb Raider and Red Dead vibe to it, you know, where you can like go out and then come back at any time. I don't think that's how the game's gonna work, but it does give off that vibe a little bit. Look who decided to join us. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes. Mark your log books. You run that's gonna take at least three arrows. <laughs> run into anything you can't handle. So right there, given the tattoo and the gas mask, she definitely is trying to hide the fact. I was just trying. I was just being a smart ass when it was going, but um, she's definitely trying to hide the fact that she's infected, and I can see why. I haven't played Last of Us for its story in a while, but even Joel, when they get out of the capital, saying, "Don't tell anyone about your condition. They'll either think you're crazy or they'll try to kill you." So, makes sense. She's trying to hide it. Ellie! They look brutal. Something about the design of them. It's like they've just got like more... Weird word to describe it, but they look more like feathery. You know? <laughs> the outside of them looks like... It's almost like they're disintegrating. It looks cool. You come back. So cool. Oh look, another lodge. Elk, thank you for 20 months. This is probably going to be the most talked about scene right here. Get off me! Please stop! No! It's like, who did they kill? They obviously didn't kill her, otherwise she wouldn't have said no. Unless there's like a two second death delay in the Last of Us universe. <laughs> Who'd they kill? Ellie beat up. Hi, Tommy. Tommy. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> I have to finish it. You have no idea what you're walking into. What are you doing? You don't know how large that group is. How armed. I don't care. One thing I I'll mention, care. this is obviously the same area as the demo, I can just tell. Addy, thank you for nine months. But the way she gets shot is exactly the same as in the demo. Watch this. And that little bit is sticking out of her shoulder. How armed. I don't care. Damn it. How armed. 
I don't care. It's hard to see. Right there it is, right there. So it seems like every time you get shot with an arrow, there were no arrows in um Enemies didn't have arrows in Last of Us. So I guess if you get shot by an arrow, it's weird how it goes in the shoulder every time. It's always the shoulder. It'd be cool if it could, like go in the stomach area or well, it can't be the head, but like I don't know, the shoulder. I don't know. Really, I guess there's not much you can do with that. Maybe the leg. It seems like it's always going to go in the shoulder. That's the second time she's you done that. There's the bracelet. We still don't know what that is. Uh, weren't they keen to mention that in the demo, I think? Yeah. This. I'm trying to look at, like, the areas. Axe. Ooh. That scene's gonna be fun. A flare with two bloaters. That's gonna be fun. Those are big fuckers. Ooh, I like that right there. Look at that. Knife across the stomach. Knife across the cheek. Very nice. And I can even recognize right there. Hold on. Listen. That right there is like the exact same sound effect as the bloater when he's throwing his crap at you. I don't know, I can just always pick out little random sound bits like that. That literal one second sound clip. Like the same sound the bloater makes when he's throwing his crap at you. Right oh, doggy. I didn't see the doggy the first time. We'll play this through a couple times. Doggy! I don't look at Joel again. What the hell are you doing here? He looks different. You think I'd let you do this on your own? What about him looks a little different? I said he looks a little more like Arthur Morgan than Joel. Maybe it's just the more detail. Like the wrinkles in the forehead. You know, like... He is around five or six years older. The beard's exactly the same. Maybe it's just the more detail. He looks... You know what he looks? He looks clean. I think that's what it is. He looks clean. Like his face and everything. It looks like he just got out of the shower. I think I'd let you do this on your own. Probably just more real. Maybe the hair. He, it's like he used gel or something. Gotta mark the date. We'll watch it a couple times. There's not as much to break down. It's not a gameplay demo. So there's not as much to break down, but... We'll play it through without stopping this time. And I'll try not to speak. <laughs> Scale of one to ten. How would you rate our kiss from last night? Ellie looks a little better in, um... I said I wouldn't talk, but... Ellie looks a little better. I thought in the demo... Look who decided to join us. ...or something, she looked a little... All right. Different. You all know the drill. She looks a lot more like Ellie in, in, in this trailer. Lock your logbooks. You run into anything you can't handle. Ellie! What, I think, what did he say? Very slowly. If you come into any trouble, come on back. We're going to play this a few times, don't worry. Get off me! Please stop! No! 
That can mean anything. The theories are going to go on most about that scene. Tommy. Tommy. I have to finish it. <laughs> I like how open that looks. You have looks. no idea what you're walking into. What are you doing? You don't know how large that group is. How armed. I don't care. Watch it again. See if there's anything that I like missed out on. Some of the like the quick scenes. I want to take them a little slower. I also want to listen to like what the guy is saying. It does look good. It looks really good. See that was satisfying enough. It does look really good. Joel, better not get any plus signs. Ah, I just thought of that. Ah! Look who decided to join us. All right. You all know the drill. Right. Run your routes. Lock your logbooks. Run your routes. Lock your logbooks. You run into anything you can't handle. Anything you can't handle. Ellie! So I'm guessing it's going to be something like Ellie and Dina go out on their routes or whatever. They probably tackle something they think they can handle. Maybe they get separated or something. They come back. I don't know. I don't know. Could be something. Dina, where are you? That looks cool. I hope it's not as slow as the intro to Red Dead 2. Another lodge. I thought that that looks cool right there. Like the expression. The expression looks really cool. You know? I was worried about how like the facial animations would look with, with the way they're making the game. It just looks really cool. I think it could be Jesse that got shot. Surely it can't be him. I don't know. I don't know. That could be anybody. Tommy. Ellie's obviously distraught that she's alone right there. Probably back at camp. Who knows? Who knows? That place with all the people. That could be Jackson. That could be... Anywhere. Maybe they all moved. Like in Red Dead 2. <laughs> this is gonna be the last of Red Dead 2. I have to finish it. Wide open areas. I wonder if you can... Because this isn't going to be an open world game, but I wonder, like... Can you go up here? Can you get off the horse? Where can and can't you go? You have no idea what you're walking into. What are you doing? You don't... Is that a Ferris wheel? Or some historical landmark that we should recognize. That's a that's that's cool looking right there. This sort of looks like on the way to where the demo is. I don't know how large that group is. This looks a bit like the subway in the capital, which it isn't because it's on the other side of the country, but. Yeah. How armed? 
Any, like, markings on them? Is that guy even wearing pants? I don't know. Uh... Hmm. I don't care. Now that would be torture. <laughs> That's the second time she's done that. Loaders. That reminds me of the science lab right there. Fuck you, asshole. Camera zooms back. Black screen. Waste 12 seconds. Doggy! Not a friendly doggy. Which means there's probably going to be infected doggos. That's cool. You get rid of one, and then there's a clicker and three runners. Maybe they'll have crawling runners. Is that one alive? Let's look. Look on the bottom right. He's moving. I saw him moving. Let's slow it down a little. This is going to sound ridiculous, but... He's moving. Also, I'm dropping some frames. Sorry about that. I don't think there's anything else left to see. Except there's a bit of a wider area. That way. Like she's going to go there and then Joel stops him or something. Other than that, there's not that much more. What the hell are you doing here? It's definitely the hair. You think I'd let you do this on your own? The more I look at it, it's definitely the hair. It's like parted and combed and whatnot. <laughs> Oh, let's see, hold on. What is this? Hey, Neil. You know, we need to share more of the last one. We want to wait until we're close to wrapping up production and we were confident in the date itself. <laughs> okay. We have a bunch of such series today, starting with the fact that the last one was going to be funny. Yeah, sweet. We were in this game over five. What? Five years ago. That's like. 2014. That's when they were remastering the game. Wow. Huh. It's hard to describe the understanding of following up the first game. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> we know how much you love this world and this character, especially and Angelina. We were fans as well. We love them. We might be spending years crafting the game. Feeling like telling a new story that deals with the core question: How far would you go to exact justice against the people that hurt the ones you love? A comic cat. Thank you for 20 months. Uh, you love. It's a highly emotional story with complex themes that be that befit the world of The Last of Us. What we realized pretty early on is that we're putting Naughty Dog's most ambitious and longest game in our 35-year history to tell this kind of story. The game needed to be massive. Without spoiling too much, at the top of this post, you can watch the brand new trailer that we debuted earlier today on State of Play, which just scratches the surface on what the game has in store. Alongside the show, we're thrilled to review the various editions of the game, including The Last of Us Part II Standard Edition, Special Edition, Digital Deluxe Version, Collectors and Elliot. Oh boy. In collaboration with we worked hard to make sure these versions would be truly special by including content and items drawn from the game and its characters. With the Collectors Edition, crafted 12 inch Ellie statue, don't care, a life size replica of Ellie's bracelet, don't care, a custom steelbook case, 48 page mini art book from Dark Horse, okay, a set of six enamel pins, don't care. Lithograph art print and a set of five stickers don't care. The collectors also comes with a voucher for digital content, including a, a theme, avatars, soundtrack, and digital mini art book. Cool. The Ellie edition gives you all of the contents of the collector's edition, plus a fully sized functional recreation of Ellie's backpack, an embryoid, em, that word, patch, a seven inch vinyl record featuring music from the original soundtrack. We'll also have a special edition version that features the custom steelbook case and all the digital. For those who prefer to go digital, I'm getting physical. I'm 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 gonna get a disc copy. Uh, we have the digital deluxe edition, which includes all the digital outline above, as well as digital copy of standard. If you pre-order either of these versions, you will instantly receive a loud part to Avatar. If you pre-order any of this, any edition, 
<coughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Ammo capacity upgrade. Instantly unlock an ammo capacity upgrade for Ellie's pistol. Crafting training manual. Instantly unlock the crafting training manual, which provides access to new crafting recipes and upgrades. Only this comes with a digital? Random dips. Thank you for a tier one sub. God. Sorry about that. I think Sax is streaming at the same time as me. Hold on, we're not done. Today's journalists from all over the world are going hands-on with two new levels at a press event in Los Angeles. Playing three hours a game. You won't have to wait long to see and hear more about it. Their impressions video will be going live this Thursday around 11 a.m. for me. Or as many fans will ask in the outbreak day. Yeah. Inspired by the day the court is blah, 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 blah. The last thing we got some experience. already did. You are now months away from playing part two. Your love for our games inspires and fuels us as we work out. Blah, 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 blah. Neil. So what is this one again? Digital Deluxe Edition. If you pre-order either of these versions on PlayStation Store. If you pre oh it's it's pre-order with anything. All right, let's look at all these. Oh nice. Pre-order and receive this is the standard edition. So if you pre-order it, you'll get access to this. And I haven't bought a game in a while, a new game in a while. You can pre-order physical copy, right, and still get this stuff. Uh, blah blah blah. I really don't care about the art book and stuff. Redeem voucher, but whatever. I don't know if I want this stuff at launch. See, they did the same thing with remaster. I, I, I mentioned this in Discord. When it came to speedrunning, there was something that happened where if you pre-ordered remastered, you could get access to basically the same thing. I think it was reload speed and healing speed or crafting speed or something. And when we did new game runs, uh, you had to have nothing upgraded. Yeah, I'm thinking like these bonuses are banned in speedrunning, but apparently you can just turn off the pre-order bonus on the main menu. Well, the, look, 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 look. Artwork not final and subject to change, okay? All right, calm down, people. <laughs> Um, let's see. All right, this is standard. This is special. Steelbook, Furtive. All right, that's the stuff. That's just pre-order. Collectors. Digital Deluxe. So I think these are the same. One's physical. Uh, this one looks like the best, I think. Just for the sake of this game being my life, basically, I might get this one. But I think you can turn this off on the main menu. Or I could just sell it. I don't know. I don't know. I would prefer to not have this stuff upgraded. Just, I don't know. That's just how I like to play. Even if I do pre-order it. But there are going to be different ones. Uh, did they say which one? Like, how many? Because I lost count. Standard, special, digital, collectors, and Ellie edition. I missed that one. This is the one. I don't need all that crap. <laughs> I don't need all that crap. But, I don't know. It would be nice to have, I guess. I'm going to keep this here. Yeah, zombie. <laughs> All right. I don't think there's that much else to show. Let's watch it one more time. 
then I'm going to do a run because it's not even 5 o'clock. One more time. Scale of 1 to 10. How would you rate our kiss from last night? Who decided to join us? All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes. Lock your logbooks. Is this Jackson? You run into anything you can't handle. Uh, Ellie! Do they have snow up there? I'm not a meteorologist anymore, so I don't know. <laughs> Get off me! Please stop! No! You have no idea what you're walking into. What are you doing? You don't know how large that group is. How armed. I don't care. I noticed that rifle killed in one hit. You can't stop this. Bloaters look more puffy. It almost looked like two different things. That looks like a bloater. And that looks like a me like a mecha bloater. Doesn't it? Bloater, mecha bloater. And then that's it. What the hell are you doing here? You think I'd let you do this on your own? <laughs> 